thanksgiving and we've entered his courts with praise amen, amen. so that's why i say praise ye the lord yes sir so as we get ready to go before the lord in prayer uh, let us remember uh, the plot family sister kathy walls her, her, her brother passed and uh, the funeral is going to be here on saturday uh from no, it's uh, right no it's going to be the funerals be here on saturday going to be here on Saturday. Uh, from 10 to 12 is the viewing, and from 12 to 2 is the homegoing celebration. Okay. Amen. So we uh, requesting the ministers be on deck, uh, the ushers be in place, uh, you know, that will come out and support and do a good thing. And we uh, also want to pray for uh, the Ratcliffe family lost of uh, Elder Ratcliffe, her, his sister-in-law. Amen. So let us pray for the family. Um, do you know anything about services? Or anything? Service is going to be at this Saturday, following Saturday. Following Saturday? Um, I was at the funeral home. I can't remember. Oh, uh, okay. All right. It's going to be the showing and the funeral is going to be the same day. All right. Amen. So let us pray for I'll make that announcement on Sunday. Amen. All right. Any other prayer requests? My brother? I just said that the uh, church will continue to keep me in prayer, keep my family in prayer, uh, keep each other lifted up. I uh, pray that the Lord's will be done in Christian ministry. Yes. Be none of the requests like this church to stand. Saints don't stop praying, for the Lord is nigh. Saints don't stop praying. Thank you and to praise you for your grace, your mercy, 
your love and your kindness. We thank you, Lord, for our being a very present help in the time of trouble. We thank you, Lord, for being good to each and every one of us and magnifying your holy and precious name in our midst in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord, for being a very present help. Hallelujah. Uh, help right now, present, uh, to help us in our time of trouble and in our time of need. We ask you, Lord, that you bless each and every soul here on today. Bless each and every yes. request for sin made Lord. Lord, you are not those that need comfort. You are not those that need peace and encouragement and strength. We pray, Lord, that you send forth your comfort, send forth your encouragement and strength. Hallelujah. The strength of the Lord is our strength. And we pray, Lord, that you would bless our Bible study on tonight. That you would send us a word, a word of comfort, a word of strength, hallelujah, yeah. a word of unity, a word of power, hallelujah, yeah. cleanse us, oh God, help us, hallelujah, yeah. to pull down every stronghold, yeah. every hot thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God. And now, Lord, we bind every evil spirit, every demonic power that would come to hinder, hallelujah, we, re we rebuke sleepiness, tiredness, hallelujah, redundancy. Hallelujah, in the name of Jesus. Yes, Hallelujah, we pray, Lord, that your will be done. Yes, Send revelation. Send wisdom and understanding that we may come together to know what is the hope of our calling. Hey, hallelujah, in the name of Jesus. And Father, we give you glory, honor, and praise. In Jesus' name, yes. amen and amen. amen. Hallelujah, God is great, and he is greatly to be praised. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. God is great in our soul. Hallelujah. I want you to turn with us. We want to uh, finish up the book, uh, book of Philippians. Uh, Philippians chapter number two. Thank you, Lord. And last week we talked about there are certain traits that uh, Christian, uh, those that are in Christ, should have. And those traits uh, that we have within us are geared towards us uh, keeping the unity of the faith and and also serving one another. Mm -hmm. Amen. It's important for us that we be unified with Christ and that we take on that mission to use our gifts and our talents to serve one another. Amen. Amen. Jesus, Amen. Uh, when he washed his disciples' feet, uh, he humbled himself. He was literally humbling himself when he did that. Uh, because the feet, or the feet, I'm, I'm trying to say it politely, uh, are, uh, were at that time considered the dirtiest parts yes. of an individual. Yeah. Amen. Because, you know, they, they didn't have no sanitary uh, uh, department, I'm sure, uh, walking behind all those camels and, and them goats and stuff like that, you know. Uh, I'm sure they stepped in some poo. Uh, so, <laughs> so, you know, it wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't a pleasant thing. Amen. So, and they wore them sandals. Yeah. Uh, so, so let us, <laughs> let us, let us take on his example. Yeah. Amen. That we should follow in his steps to wash one another's feet, to serve one another. Yeah. That's the example that he was putting forth. And we know that we should all have the mind of Christ and the spirit of Christ. And uh, in the first verses there, it talks about. Um, we should have the trait of consolation. Uh, we should have the trait of, of being able to comfort and to love one another. Yeah. Amen. We should have the trait of having bowels of mercies and being like-minded, having the same mind, being on one accord. Uh, we should uh, look to get rid of strife and vain glory. Uh, mm -hmm. And um, we should all uh, desire to have the mind of Christ spirit of Christ. Amen? Hallelujah. So, and these things, once again, are done to keep the unity of the spirit uh, in the church. God operates through unity. Yes. The enemy operates through chaos. Amen? Confusion and every evil work. Uh, and, and, um, get ready to get into the Bible study, but, but, uh, he, uh, God also wants what he has put in us, the, the fruit of the Spirit, to work through us, amen, to minister one to another, amen. How do you, uh, Jesus said, how do you know that you're my disciple? Uh, how do you know that you're my disciple? 
Uh, you know you are my disciple by the love that you show one to another. Amen. Ministry is one to another. Amen. Uh, hallelujah. So uh, keep these things in mind then as we move to the next segment of our lesson. Uh, and uh, this next segment is, is dealing with what we should do and how we should do it. Amen? Amen. All right. Any questions on anything that I've said thus far? Amen. Hallelujah. All right. Unless you did a good job. <laughs> All right. Uh, so we want to ask our reader uh, to begin reading for us in uh, Philippians chapter 2 and... Uh, we want to start with verse number 12. Wherefore, my beloved, as ye have always obeyed, not as in my presence only, but now much more in my presence afterwards, work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. All right. Now Paul is, is shifting uh, the lesson to discuss the things that we ought to work out. Amen. The things that we must do uh, when we when we deal with salvation, when we deal with salvation, God has, has when we accept Christ and believe on Him, He extends to us salvation, and it's a finished work of salvation. Yeah. Amen. We don't have to do anything uh, to receive salvation, mm -hmm. but we must do some things to maintain it. Amen. Amen. To grow in it. Yes. You follow me? Yes. Uh, we, must, we must focus then, if I'm saved, on obedience to the word of God, to what the Lord has said. First and foremost, I have to submit now to the Lord, the Lord Jesus Christ, and what he has said. Amen. Amen. So I must do that. You must do that. Amen. It's a must. Amen. Amen. Uh, if you don't, then you're going to find yourself left out in the cold. <laughs> if you do, uh, you'll find yourself in a mansion. <laughs> uh, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. So we see here then, uh, read that first, that 12th verse again. Wherefore, my beloved, uh -huh. as ye have always obeyed, yes. not as in my presence only, yes. but now much more in my absence. Uh -huh. Now, uh, read. Work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. Now, you have to realize this, because this is the very key point to this lesson. That, that this literally is a prison epistle. A prison epistle. Paul wrote this epistle while he was in jail, not knowing whether or not he was going to live. Amen? Uh, he was on death row. Amen? Uh, and, and so the words that he is writing unto them, he's writing them thoughtfully and carefully with all assurance of faith. Amen? Why? Because he was leaving them a record uh, of, of what they must do. Paul didn't know whether or not he was going to live to the next moment. Amen? So he wrote this letter... Uh, in, in light of that, and this letter should also be weighty in our own minds uh, because these are the words of a man that was, uh, uh, in his mind, could live or die. He didn't know. Amen? That's why he said in the epistle, whether to live or to die is gain. Uh, I don't know what's going to happen. Uh, but if I die, I'm good. If I live, I'm good. Amen. That's that's a dangerous individual uh, because uh, uh, if you if you don't regard if you allow me to say this uh, in this way whether or not you're going to live or die and have your mind focused on Jesus you have no hindrance. Amen. You have no hindrance. Uh, uh, you you willing to lay down your life? Uh, uh, that, that reminds me of what Paul said in the Book of Acts when uh, uh, they they showed him. Well, they took his girdle and bound it up and twisted it up. And the prophet said, this is going to happen to the man that, that owns this girdle. 
uh, and the word got around and Paul caught them all crying and weeping. He said, what mean you to cry and weep and break my heart? Uh, I'm not only willing to go bow to Jerusalem, but I'm willing to die for this thing. Uh, you know, so, so he wasn't moved by that. Amen. Why? Because he was persuaded. Uh, persuaded in his heart and in his mind about the gospel of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. One thing I found out, one thing I found out about this gospel, this gospel of Jesus Christ, if you receive it, it gives you a hope. Amen. A hope that lies beyond the grave. Uh, a hope that no one else has that, 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 that is living in this world. Because that hope is special and unique to those that believe in Christ. Amen. You got an assurance. Uh, you got an assurance uh, that, that no, not only in this life will I live, but I'm assured in the next uh, I'm going to live. Uh, do y'all feel that? Do y'all ever feel that assurance? Yeah. Uh, that blessed assurance? <laughs> Hallelujah. That, 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 that. It doesn't matter what happens in this life. Because I know that in the next life to come, uh, hallelujah, I'm going to thrive and survive. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. That's the blessed hope that we have in the gospel of Jesus Christ, uh, which is the power of God. Notice, unto salvation, unto deliverance. Uh, not only does the Lord deliver us in this life, uh, but he's, he's, he's delivering us to keep us for that which is to come. Amen. Uh, and if only in this world uh, we have hope in Christ, uh, we are all men most miserable. Uh, I not only have hope in him now, but I have hope in him when I have to transition uh, to the next. Uh, and that's what keeps us going. That's what keeps us moving. Amen. Hallelujah. Now, uh, uh, read that verse again. We're going to get into that verse. Hallelujah. Read that again. Wherefore, my beloved, as ye have always obeyed, not as in my presence only, but now much more in my absence, work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. Now, Paul is, is literally trying to encourage this Philippian church because he was in love with this church and notice his words he said wherefore my beloved as ye have noticed always what obey, obey. Huh? always obey the, the, the word of the Lord amen they've always walked huh? worthy of the vocation where they were called amen that testimony should be with us as well uh, that we always obey God. That we always have the intent to walk worthy of the vocation wherewith we have been called. Amen. Amen. Obedience is the key. Amen. To, to continued salvation and deliverance. Notice what he said. As you as always obey. Read. Not as in my presence only. Now you haven't just given me eye service. Uh, when I, you know how some people are, they get to cleaning when you walk in the room. Mm -hmm. uh, but, but sometimes they're out there taking a break. Mm -hmm. uh, when you walk out, when you leave out, they back doing what they want to do. Yeah. Uh, uh, but, they, but the Philippian church wasn't like that. Uh, hallelujah. They were obedient. Uh, not when they, they, now here we go. They worked as unto the Lord. Uh, that's how you got to work, as unto the Lord. Not as to pleasing men, but to pleasing of the Lord. Because the Lord is always watching. Right. Uh, his eyes is always seen. Yes. Amen? Right. So he says, not only in my presence, but what? But now much more in my absence. Now note, in my absence, now here's the command. What does he say? Work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. All right, now the Lord has, has, has done great things. He's given us everything that pertains unto life and godliness. Am I right? No. Now notice what the word that he uses. Now you work out. Huh? You work out your what? Your own salvation. How? With fear. Now that word fear and trembling there means you've got to take this thing seriously. Yes, sir. Yes. Amen? The enemy 
doesn't, he wants you to become complacent and not take the work of salvation of Christ that he's done for you seriously. Amen. He wants you to float around here like a butterfly. Amen. Thank you, Lord. That's what he wants. He wants you to disregard everything that the Lord has done for you. Amen. But, but Christ, and Paul put it in there in, in Philippians again. He said, uh, uh, he talked about, he that began uh, a good work well, in you. Amen. He started a good work in you. Amen. Hallelujah. And he's expecting you to finish it until the day of Jesus Christ, until he comes. In other words, you should always be working on your level of obedience uh, to the word of God. Yes. Amen. Amen. You should always be working on your submission to the word of God. Yes. Amen. Why? Because of what Christ has done for you. Yes. Amen. He's done great things for you. Yes. Huh? Hallelujah. And he's given you a great start to salvation. Amen. Uh, a great foundation for which to stand. Uh, but now you've got to do some things. Amen. Tell somebody, I've got to do some things. Uh, if, I, if I want to maintain, uh, if I want to be spiritual, if I want to be holy, uh, I've got to do some things and walk in obedience to what the Lord has said. Amen. 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 So, so we see here then, notice what he said. He said, uh, work out your own salvation with what? Fear and trembling. Now, he uses that word, work out. Amen? Tell somebody, work it out. Work, work it out. <laughs> that word, work it out, means literally uh, uh, complete it until the end. Amen? It's like some people uh, uh, start a project, uh, and and they, they get halfway through it, and then they go to the next. Uh, never completing it. Amen. Sometimes I read, I start reading the book. Then I get disinterested. Huh? And, and don't finish it. Right. Amen. Hallelujah. And, and sometimes we start out, uh, uh, strong praying and fasting. We good for a month. Huh? Woo. Gee, I'm, I'm giving y'all credit. Huh? We, we good for a couple weeks. Huh? And then stuff happens. Huh? Then we get distracted. Uh, and we don't we don't work it out, Amen. Paul here he's talking about completing, Amen. Don't be a stop start type of individual. A double minded man is what unstable uh, in all of his ways. Uh, so he says you got to work it out. You got to complete it, Amen. And what is he talking about? Salvation. Uh, the uh, uh, the finished work of Christ has to be complete in you until your feet leave the ground. Uh, whether by the undertaker or by the overtaker. Uh, you got to complete it. Uh, don't give up. Don't, don't surrender. Don't retreat. Don't turn back. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Be complete this thing. Uh, uh, that, that, that's what brings a, a joy to the Lord. Uh, backsliders don't bring joy to the Lord. Uh, those that, that endure to the end. Yes, sir. The race is not given to the swift, nor the battle to the strong, but time and chance happeneth to us all. Right. Uh, and, and we have to run this race until we endure when? To the end. To the end. Uh, only those that uh, go to the finish line are going to receive the prize. Uh, those that fall by the wayside, uh, you won't even get an honorable mention. Uh, thank you, Lord. You got to go to the end. Uh, hallelujah. Tell somebody I got to go to the end. Uh, so if I don't go to the end, I got to work it out. Uh, I got to work out some stuff. Amen. Uh, I got to work it out. Hallelujah. Now notice, he says, work out then your what? Your own. Now, you got to focus on what's going on with you. Your own salvation. Yes, sir. Huh? Huh? Uh, save, save yourself. <laughs> From this huh? And them that what? 
hear you, right? So you gotta, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta be focused on what's in you. Amen. What's going on in me? Uh, what is, what is, what is the world, Lord, trying to work out of me? Uh, what is the Lord trying to work out of you? Uh, hallelujah. That's, that's the reason why we pray. Uh, have, have, have moments of devotion. Uh, I don't, I don't just pray for other people. I pray for myself. Yes, sir. Uh, Lord, uh, what would you have me to do? Uh, Lord, what is going on in my mind that you want to cleanse me and wash me and purge me? Yes, huh? Uh, Lord, I got some hindrances. I got some stumbling blocks. Uh, I don't just let those hindrances or stumbling blocks be there without going to the Lord. Amen. Seeking Him. Amen. Hallelujah. You gotta work this thing out. This thing is too precious. Uh, uh, the Lord has done a good work. Hallelujah. And He's not done with us yet. Amen. Hallelujah. And I, and I need Him. Uh, I need the Lord. Amen. So, so, so I'm willing to work it out. Amen. We gotta be willing to work it out. Uh, so, so notice what He says. Notice what He says. Work out. Uh, your own salvation, the first thing you got to work out, you got to have some fear uh, and some trembling. Hmm. Amen? Uh, you got to fear. The Bible talks about to us about fearing the Lord. Yes. Uh, that means you got to reverence the Lord. Amen? Uh, you got to, I want y'all to hear me. You got to reverence what the Lord has said uh, and take him at his word. Notice, he uses a compound phrase there. Fear and tremor. And then noting, noting that, that when I come before the presence of the Lord, uh, I'm coming before the Lord and, and I have to reverence him because, you know, God is love, but he's also a consuming fire. Yes, sir. Right. Uh, God deserves honor and respect. For sure. Huh? Yeah. Hallelujah. I, I should esteem the Lord high. Amen? Hallelujah. Why? Because he deserves that honor. You don't come to God any kind of way. Uh, when you know him, you come to him giving him honor, glory, and praise. Yes. And note that, that you, you respect his word uh, in the sense that if the Lord has said it, uh, it's going to come to pass. Right. Uh, that if the Lord said don't do it, then don't do it. Because uh, I ain't got to ask him why. Because uh, I honor him. Uh, I ain't got, Lord, you ain't got to come down from the clouds and give me a strong explanation. Uh, and I'm not going to mount the cloud and go up to him and say, Lord, why? Uh, hallelujah. You follow what I'm saying? Uh, hallelujah. And, and because he said it. Hallelujah. It, it shall stand and it shall come to pass. Y'all with me tonight? Yeah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And, and that's that trembling part. Amen. I, I honor what the Lord has said. Yeah. We should honor what the Lord has said. Huh? You know, what gets in our way is our own thoughts, yeah. our own ideas, yeah. and our own opinions. Uh -oh. huh? Oftentimes, we try to help the Lord. Yeah. Huh? Lord, I, I know you want me to, 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 to give, but I'm going to help you. I ain't going to give it to them until they ask me. Wow. I, I'm going to help you. Yeah. I, I'm not, I'm not going to do what you said uh, until they show the right attitude. Wow. I'm going to help you, God. Mm. Uh, that's, that, now, now that's, that's disrespectful. <laughs> wow. Amen. Amen. That's, that's being naughty. Uh, uh, with all superfluity, as the Bible says. Right. Uh, don't be a naughty saint. Uh, <laughs> don't be a naughty Christian. Amen. Be, do what the Lord has said. Yes. Amen. Uh, uh, Sister Jackie. Pride. Right. Right. 
When you, when we say things like that, what we're really saying is, Lord, I know better than you. Right. I'm wiser than you. Right. Uh, that, Lord, you don't know everything. Uh, you missing, you missing some information. Uh, uh, let me, let me help you out. Uh, thank you, Lord. When we, when we try to subvert uh, and, 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 and overdo and overstep the word of God, that's, like she said, that's pride kicking in. Yes. Amen. And we all know what happens when that happens. Yeah. Uh, a fall. You're about to get thumped on your head. Right. Huh? That's yeah. what you're about to do. you about to, yeah, now see, now, can I teach you tonight? Go ahead. You're about to get a cancer. Huh? You're about to get a, you're about to get uh, some trouble in your life. Yes. Huh? You're about to fall by the way. And I ain't saying everybody uh, a disobedient got cancer. What I'm saying is, uh, the Lord will do something to, to help you to, to come back to your senses. Let me, let me, let me put it this way. Let me, thank you. I got to calm myself down. Let me put it this way. A shepherd has a sheep, a little ewe lamb, that always runs away, won't stay in the pen, always trying to do what they want to do. The, the shepherd breaks the leg of that ewe lamb. Uh, mends it back up, keeps it nose nice and close to him so that the ewe lamb will get to, to know the shepherd, to begin to love the shepherd. So then when the, the, the ewe lamb is healed, uh, he'll stay with the shepherd. Yeah. Wow. Amen. Stop running away. Wow. Uh, stop doing what they want to do. Wow. You follow me? Uh, God allows tests and trials to come up on us. Amen. So that we can get to know Him. Uh, so that we can stop having our own thoughts. Our own way. My God. If, if I kept my own thoughts and ways, I wouldn't need Jesus. Hallelujah. Uh, I need Jesus. Amen. And people get into trouble when they start doing what they want to do. Amen. Hallelujah. All right. All right. Now I'm going to beat that into the ground. So let's, let's move forward. Notice what he said. Work out your own salvation with what? Fear and trust. So the first thing you got to work out is your salvation. How? Fear. Fear and tremble. Amen. You got to come to a point because this whole thing hinges on obedience. Amen. You got to uh, 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 work out till you have a fear, a reverence, and a deep respect for the word of God. Amen. Amen. To obey. Amen. 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 Uh, be like Job. He esteemed God's word better, or better than his necessary food. Amen. Uh, let me, I'd rather obey God than man. Amen. Hallelujah. Fear, fear him that is able to destroy the body and the soul uh, and cast it into hell. Amen. Hallelujah. Sometimes we fear men more than we fear God. Uh, we get into trouble. Uh, uh, because I fear the man, I'm going to tell a lie. Uh, I'm not, I'm going to deny Christ because I, I fear them. Amen. I fear what they're going to say to me. I fear how they're going to treat me. Yeah. Amen. Uh, Y'all with me tonight? Amen. Uh, that's, why, that's why when you walk with Christ, you got to arm yourself to suffer. Amen. Hallelujah. Wow. But can I, can I teach you? Uh, you, know, you know, life is punky nori sometimes. Uh, life is enjoyable sometimes. Yeah. Uh, but the Bible says... Huh? A man that is born of a woman is of a few days and what? So oh, you gonna have many troubles, many tests and trials. Hey Amen. I'm sure if I said how many of you went through a test this very hour, probably half of you would raise your hand. Yes, sir. Huh? Hallelujah. Because trouble is all around us. Yeah. So that's why I've got to be on God. Uh, because any moment Jesus can come, any moment I could die, uh, I could get 
run into a car accident and die. Somebody can shoot me in the head. That's right. Huh? Anytime. Yeah. Huh? By accident or by intent. Yeah. Huh? Huh? So therefore, we have to live our lives huh? Honestly, as, as though it was our last. Yes. Wow. Huh? Yeah. Hallelujah. That's a sobering thought. Yes, it is. Huh? Thank you, Lord. So, so I, I'd rather hold back on my lie and tell you the truth because Jesus is coming. Yes, uh, he can come. Uh, right. I'd, rather, I'd, rather, I'd rather do you good than do you evil right. because I know the Lord is watching. Yeah. Uh, and he could come. Right. Amen. Right. Uh, this is what Paul is talking about. Right. Amen. How to live your life. Amen. How to work this thing out. Right. Amen. Uh, if you don't, you don't work it out, you ain't gonna make it. Huh? Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. If you get out there in the, in the ocean and start swimming, and if you ain't worked it out before, and you get out there, you're gonna drown. Yes, sir. Huh? Uh, you're gonna get tired. Amen? Hallelujah. Yeah. Uh, so, so, so don't be like the, the five foolish virgins. Uh, they didn't take enough oil in their laps. Mm. Amen? Hallelujah. Be like the five wives. Huh? My brother. Yeah, that's, that's like the Bible summing it up when it says we're not promised tomorrow. No. Nope. So if we, if, we, if, we, if we keep that thought in our head, we will do things different each day. Each day, every day. Mm -hmm. Amen? Am I right? I, well, he said it. Is he right? <laughs> uh, that's, the, the key is, so what he just said was, all flesh is as bread. Right. Uh, and the beauty of it is the flower of the field. Uh, the grass withereth and the flower fadeth. Uh, but the word of the Lord shall stand forever. Yes. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Y'all with me tonight? Amen. All right. So what's the first thing I got to work out? My soul salvation with what? Fear. So we got to work that out. All right, the next thing I gotta work out. What's he say? For it is God who's working in you both to will and to do of his good pleasure. Now, the, the next thing you gotta work out is your obedience. Your obedience. And we should be grateful to God because read that verse again. For it is God. It is who? God. God. Which worketh in you. Now, notice. God is, he, he didn't save you, but he's still working in you. Huh? Huh? We, he, he hasn't left you by yourself. Huh? He hasn't left you alone. Huh? That, now, that should show us the great importance of what he's saying if God is not just going to leave this to yourself. Huh? He's not just leaving this up to you. Huh? So he also in terms, he works in you. What does he work in you? Both the will and the do. Now, now notice, he works in you both his will. Right? right. What is his will? Holiness. Holiness. Without the which, no man shall see the Lord. Like this Christ. Huh? Being like Christ. But when we talk about the will, we're talking about his word. Yes, sir. His plan for you. What he has said about you. Right. Amen. And part of what he said is having the mind of Christ and, and holiness and righteousness and, and doing what he has said. He knows the thoughts huh, that he thinks toward you. Amen. Not thoughts of evil, but good thoughts. Why? Because he wants to bring you to his expected end. God knows. He, he says, you are his workmanship. Yes. Yes. Huh? You are, have been created in Christ Jesus. Yes. Notice, prepared unto what? And we're good, work. good, work. good works. Good works. Good yeah. works. Huh? Your life should be defined by, by doing good works. Amen? Amen? Tell somebody good works. Good works. Good works. Hallelujah. You got to do good works. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord.
Thank you, Lord. All right. Uh, hold on here. <laughs> you got to do that, that which is good and honorable in the sight of the Lord. Amen. Ah. I think they want to move the car.